Welcome to the Press Avenue YouTube channel. My name is John, and I like to talk about WordPress tutorials that everyone can use. Whether you're a developer or just jumping into WordPress, we have tutorials just for you. Today we're going to be talking about adding animations to your website easily, just dropping in some code while using Beaver Builder. Additionally, this can be used with Gutenberg or the regular WordPress block editor, which we will also show. Down below in the video description and on the video itself, you'll see chapters where you can jump ahead between Beaver Builder and the block editor. So let's jump into it. First, we're going to head on over to a site called lottiefiles.com. Now this allows you to drop in SVG animations, uh, which are very small and load very quickly on your site. Typically in the past, people would put either videos, which are humongous, and other options which don't quite load smoothly or quickly, and we all need stuff to load quickly. So this is lottiefiles.com. Uh, you do need an account to edit these files or use them, and it's free, so I've already logged in there. So let's jump over to Discover, and then we'll just grab something that is free, and I'll kind of walk you through different things. So this is featured, you see at the top here, it says featured, recent, popular, animations, etc. These ones are featured. Now there are kind of random, we have loading screens, we have a coming soon, what is that, a ballerina, uh, we got the guy from Big Hero 6, just kind of random stuff. We will choose this one right here. So what I've done so far is on a website that I just turned on, for Beaver Builder, I dropped in a template that allows me to basically build out this page in two seconds, so I can show you how to do this. So we're gonna go ahead and edit this Beaver Builder site, and we'll go to plus HTML, and I'll drag it in here. Now we need the HTML to actually drop in here. So I'll come back to the Lottie file that I chose, and it's this guy doing something on the computer. So it's, you know, email, calendar. I don't work 24 seven, but I guess this guy does. And then some gears, and we have some options here. Now, there's the URL, the speed, the background, etc. If you click WordPress, it brings you to a tutorial on how to do this, and I'm showing you the same thing. I'm just gonna click HTML. When you're logged in, it'll bring you to the generate code area. If you're not logged in, it'll ask you to do so. So I'm gonna come down here to generate code. So here's the asset file here, .json. Play mode, normal is, is it plays through, as you can see here on the play bar, and then it keeps looping it forever. Um, there is one called bounce, where it goes to the end and then comes back, as you'll see by the play bar here. Some animations, this doesn't make sense, this one just changes, you only really notice it on the gears. I typically leave this on normal. Next direction, uh, pretty straightforward. You want it to go forward, <laughs> forward or backwards. Background color, I typically leave it as transparent and then I change the background color on the side itself. If you don't want that, then you just come in here and pick color to match your brand or whatever uh, block you're putting it into. Width, height, I usually leave that and I adjust it as needed. And then finally controls, that's this control bar down here. I typically turn this off every time. I don't see a reason to have that on there. Um, autoplay, I leave on. Loop, obviously I leave on. And then hover is, if the mouse goes over the top of the animation, does it play or not? Um, so I don't know, so it doesn't show on here, but it'll show on the site. Then when you're done, it has the code right here, and I click Copy Code. Now when I go back to Beaver Builder, I paste the code in here, and I hit Save. And then there it is. So in this instance, it's probably a little small, so I'll come back to the editor. Where am I? Let's try, let's do 500 by 500. Again, nothing changes over here, um, but you can see here it says 500 by 500, or I can just simply do it within the code itself. So do five and five, that looks a lot better. Save, done, publish. And we're done, that's easy. 
Now on Gutenberg or the block editor or just the WordPress editor, the many names that it has, we'll go to new page and we'll say, this is the other way to do it. I'll use the standard editor and you could use the HTML way or you can also do the O embed way. So here I am on the original animation where it says O embed URL. I'll copy that, come to the block, paste, it embeds, come on, there we are, and we're done. Pretty cool, but you don't get a lot of options because it's just straight pulling this embed file. Or maybe it lets us edit it, let's see. Nope. So if you want to edit it, you go to edit as HTML, and we'll come back here to where it was for Beaver Builder, copy this code, come back here and paste it. Whoops, if you don't want to edit it, of course you don't need to do this step, Attempt block. Oh, it didn't work. Hold on. Remove. We'll do HTML, paste, preview. Okay. I must have deleted a spot that it didn't like. Again, I can go to HTML and I can change the size here based on what I want. This is just a totally blank page. So go to publish, view, and there we go. We have an animation on the WordPress editor. And then as well, I showed you on Beaver Builder as well. Now taking this a step further, say you want to edit this file. Uh, let's see, maybe you don't want the cloud behind it. So I'll go back here to the original file area and it gives me the option to edit the layer colors. So I'll click edit the layer colors. It pops up a new window, it seems to on all of it. And you see over here on the left side, we have the properties and this is all the layers. And if I look, it's in another language that I can't read. Um, this is the cloud in the background and I wanna change it to orange and now it's orange. And then say maybe his headphones, outlines, outlines, outlines. I'm guessing, let's see, of course I can't read this. Come on, headphones. We'll do another, we'll change the leaf. So let's do green, update. Oh, that's just the stem. I should get one next time in English. Update, that's the leaf down there. So you can kind of see how you can very easily change this without having you know, an Adobe program or a vector program. So then when I'm done, um, I can go to, I can export it as a JSON, which means you would have to then upload it. Or I can go upload to my previews. Uploading. And there it is. And then here is my new asset link, um, which is actually fantastic. So that is the run through of Lottie images. If you have any questions about how to edit Lottie files, how to edit Gutenberg Lottie images, or how to edit Beaver Builder Lottie stuff, please do let me know in the comments below. Again, if you have any other WordPress questions, you're welcome to leave them below and I will answer them. And thank you so much for watching.